friends, this is Callie. Thanks so much for being here with me today. We're creating a colorful set of cards using the Sweet Bird Stamp Set from Simon Says Stamp. The Sweet Bird Stamp Set includes all four of the birds that I'm using on my set of cards today. The acetate carrier sheet is color coded for you and is grouped into sets of birds so that it makes it easy for you to keep it all together. I do want to mention that this is not a stamp layering set, but all of the stamps do butt up right next to each other so it's very easy to line up. I'm using a clear sticky mat that I've cut down to size for my Misty, and I find that I use the sticky mat only when I'm using a template for stamping. So I've die cut a template using the die set from the Sweet Bird stamp set. There's also a branch and some leaves that I didn't die cut so that it would fit in the Misty. So I'm going to inlay all of my die cut pieces and we're going to begin stamping one bird at a time. This is a nice mock-up of what the birds should look like once they're stamped out. You can use any colors that you'd like to make them more colorful, but I stuck to similar colors. As mentioned, I'm using positively saturated inks. These inks come in sets of three, but to use the same color families, I'm going to be doing some second generation stamping to get lighter colors. And then I'll sometimes I'll double stamp if I need the colors to be darker. I also mentioned earlier that these are not layering stamps. The stamps will sit right next to each other as you go through each additional step. And you can start with any step you'd like. I thought it was easiest to start with the largest stamp of the body and then work my way around all the other parts. So as you just saw, I did some second generation stamping to get that lighter shade on that wing. I stamped off on a piece of scrap cardstock and then applied the color onto the wing. When you're doing second generation stamping, you want to make sure you get a really good image the first time. So I stamp it off more than once just to make sure that also my stamp is conditioned for the color and that creates a better image. So on this cardinal here, I'm moving on to the eyes. I'm going to skip the beak and the feet and start working on the other birds so that I can do all of the beaks and feet together. That way I can save some time. Moving on to the blue jay, again I started with that larger body and then I'm just budding up all of the other stamps to fit so that we can get this uniform colored image. For stamped images like this, it's definitely helpful to die cut before stamping. Generally, I always die cut after I finish coloring an image, but you want to make sure that you don't stamp your birds wrong or incorrectly and then miss it completely after stamping um, when the die doesn't fit the image. So it's always best to die cut first when you have images that you need to layer this way. Moving right along here on the last two birds, again, we're doing some more second generation stamping if we need to get a lighter color, as well as some double stamping to get darker colors or a better impression. To make these birds colorful, I'm using lots of different positively saturated ink pads. Be sure to check out the descriptions below where everything will be linked for your convenience and as well as on the coordinating blog post where I'll all be listed and linked for you. Okay, so now we're finishing up with all of those beaks and feet. I can go ahead and peel my images off the sticky mat that I used to hold down my template and my birds. Brutus Monroe has a nice sticky mat that you can use in your regular size Misty. So be sure to check that out. I'll go ahead and link it below even though I didn't use that. It's just a great alternative to this one. When I'm done with it, I like to put the acetate right over that to protect the sticky mat and put it back in my Misty and then I can use it for next time. Now that we're done stamping our birds, we're going to create some backgrounds using the Delicate Floral Mandela. This is also new in the Hello Gorgeous release. And I'm going to use my standard size Misty here and we're going to be stamping these backgrounds onto some ivory cardstock. I just wanted a very soft background and I'm reusing the melon color that I used on one of my birds. And I'm going to go ahead and stamp that. Didn't really care for the color too much. So I'm pulling in the latte ink. It's a light brown. And I'm going to stamp that as well one time in the full color. And then I decided to do second generation stamping because I wanted it even lighter. So you'll see here I'm going to remove this and then keep my finger in the same place so that I can get the position just right. And then stamp off without cleaning my stamps to get a lighter impression. I'm going to repeat that second generation stamping to get my fourth panel and then what we'll do is trim these down all by a quarter inch all the way around so this will mat a card base for us in the end. And that also cleans up all the edges, any imperfect stamping that might be visible. 
Like I said earlier, there is a branch and some leaves from the stamp set that we could have used, but to make our cards more interesting, I wanted to add some more layers and dimension. So I die cut some olive leaves and tattered leaves in white cardstock, and then we'll set that aside before we start constructing our cards. I also wanted to get all of my sentiments squared away, so I'm using sentiments from the Kathy Zilski Spring Into My Step stamp set and dies. I've selected four different sentiments from the stamp set, and I'm going to emboss them in white over black cardstock. I made sure to prep my cardstock with an embossing powder tool to prevent a lot of strays. And then once I applied my embossing powder and tapped off the excess, I did clean my panel off a little bit with a brush before heat setting it. I love the rabbit hole designs embossing powder tool, but it leaves a little clay residue on your cardstock. It's not a big issue because once I'm done heat setting my panel, I can go ahead and buff away that residue with a cloth. I love that this stamp set comes with dies, so I went ahead and cut all of my sentiments apart and now we can go ahead and start assembling all of our cards. I'm just doing a rough layout right now and once I'm happy with how the stems look with the birds and with the sentiment, I'll go ahead and start adhering all of the stems down first. I'm doing an assembly line, sort of, so we're going to go ahead and do all of the stems first, then the sentiments, and then finally the birds. I'm using liquid glue for all of the stems because I'm going to prop my birds and the sentiments up with foam adhesive, so I want more dimension on top and less dimension behind. I'm also trimming some of these stems because they're a little long and I didn't want them to extend beyond the sentiments at the bottom of my panels. All of the steps for the assembly of these cards is the same. I'm going to add black foam adhesive to the sentiments, apply them down first, and then add the birds with white foam adhesive. It all goes by pretty quickly when you're mass producing these and doing the same steps for every card. So as soon as I get through that, we can go ahead and adhere all of them onto card bases. Now at this point, I could have stopped, but I decided it needed embellishments. This is the Seashore sequin mix from Simon Says Stamps. Hello Gorgeous release as well, and I decided I wanted to use them on my cards to finish them off. Once I secure all of my sequins in place, my set of cards is done. So from one stamp set, we have four colorful sweet birds, and we've made four cards using a simple background stamp and some die cut leaves. I hope you enjoyed this set of sweet, colorful birds. Thank you so much for watching. Again, if you're interested in any of the colors or supplies that I use, be sure to check out the descriptions below as they will all be linked for your convenience. Thanks so much for stopping by and spending some time with me. Have a wonderful day, everyone. Bye.